going on guys my name is Arsenal hope you have a fantastic day thank you for stopping by today I'm just bringing you a typical crunker gameplay more than likely using the marksman class I really like the new EBR style to the marksman rifle makes it very viable makes it usable makes it a favorite in my opinion I think it might be my favorite gun inside of the game now the new Sub-Zero map is amazing. I didn't really get to do much of a update recap over the past few weeks. I've been kind of detoxing myself from Krunker in anticipation that the barriers that they break and the leaps they take over the next few months to propel the game is going to keep me playing it. Which speaking of that, that's actually the topic for today. Krunker has blown up and it is insane to see the progress they have made in the past few weeks. They're starting to branch off. They're starting to make their game unique. They're starting to put red dots on some of the guns. They're revamping guns. They're releasing maps. And I've seen a lot of people over the past few weeks sniping, going for trick shots, getting insane clips. And it really just makes me happy that the game is starting to finally get the recognition it deserves after a few months of being undercasted and not really taken seriously. There's people quitting Fortnite a game that had confirmed that they were rele releasing $100 million in a prize pool this year to come to Krunker and play. And that, in my opinion, is insane. It, it's, it's amazing. The dev team of Sydney Events, those are the only two I know if there's any more that I apologize, you're doing a great job too. But the dev team is really doing a great job of being transparent and not being lazy with the updates. When I say lazy, I don't mean it in a negative connotation. They have so many games they're working on, and the game started to blossom during the holiday season, so they were taking, you know, family trips, all that. So I can't blame them whatsoever. It, it was just unlucky timing. But now that they see that their game is starting to get a lot of exposure and a lot of big names are playing it, they have been on point with the updates that they have been releasing and being transparent with the community. And that is an A++ in my book when it comes to social media marketing and public relations. So hats off to the dev team, doing a great job. Give me my goddamn check mark. Nah, I'm just playing with you guys. There was also a 5k tournament announced by Sydney. I don't really know the origin of the announcement, but I learned it from Twitter, so I'm just gonna say he announced it on Twitter. And that has the community fiend in right now. A 5k tournament has never been heard of for Krunker, and it's actually really sick to see that they are doing that for the community because I think Crunker Esports can pop off that's why I created the Fragger Fall tournament organizing brand and I really hope that competitive Crunker really just pops off because there are a lot of heads being turned to it right now and I can personally guarantee you there are thousands of people that are watching from afar to see if this can really be taken seriously before they dive deep into it so I just have one thing to say to the community and the dev team and the fans and the friends of Krunker take it serious as hell and show the world what this game can do so we can have a huge audience halfway through 2019 maybe even going into 2020 but anyway guys I think that's gonna be it for this video if you did like the video, please hit that like button. Comment what you want to see out of Krunker next and what you want to see them do. And tell me how you feel about Krunker blowing up in the past few weeks. Subscribe for content similar to this, and I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Arsenal. Peace.